Hey Verse, it's me the Angel Man here today to give you guys another video. Welcome back Verse to another segment of React With Me. I came up with a pretty interesting idea to do for the next video. And that is asking Gen Z some of the most basic questions. I'm not asking anybody Gen Z. I should have specified that a little better. Basically, verse, I was on Instagram a little while, a little while ago. I came across an interesting reel. Someone was in the streets of New York asking people who were apparently Gen Zs. I think I saw like two videos where they were basically asking them very basic questions, like what time was it, and like which country of something. And uh, they really had a hard time answering it. I really didn't know why. Some of them I'm like, okay, I get. And then there were others where I was like, uh, really, you couldn't, you couldn't answer that. <laughs> Clearly some people know more than others and I'm not saying I'm a genius or nothing, but I'm just saying like I feel like I know my basics. So it got me the idea, what if I went on YouTube and, I, and if I could find maybe like a full video to clarify, right? I'm not here to attack any generations or nothing like that, all right? This is just a social experiment video. I'm just reacting to it. For me, just to, just to answer, I'm a millennial. I was born in 96. Uh, I can prove it. What years are Gen Z millennials? Okay. Millennials are anyone born from 1981 to 96. Yep. G millennial. Generation Z is anyone born from 97 to 2012. So if you're anywhere from that age gap, yeah, you're a, you're a Gen Z. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, not to attack anybody. I'm just gonna react and see what questions are they gonna answer. Supposedly, they're very basic questions, so they shouldn't be that difficult, right? But all right, then, verse. With that said, let's get to it. Gen Z can't answer the most basic questions. I think this is during a pride parade. Oh. Goodness gracious, okay. Uh, let's see what's gonna happen here. Do you know how many stars there are on the US flag? 52? You're close, yes. it's 50. What state is Utah in? It's 50. Michigan? Yes, you know what state Utah is in? For the first question, it's 50 stars. Uh, each star represents each state, so it's 50. What state is Utah in? Utah's a state. This is a trick question. Utah, I'm... To be honest with you, I never heard of that place ever in my life. I live under a rock. Can you name three countries besides the USA? Oh, come on. That's easy. I suck at history. I was like, my worst subject. Can we do like science? No. Any three. Any three. You know this. A country? Oh, my yeah. jeez. Come on. Oh, my God. Um, a uh, country. Wait, besides the US? Yeah. Huh? Ah! ah! I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. Alright, alright, it's fine. I can't, I can't do history, I can't. Do you know how many dimes there are in the dollar? That is so, oh my god, if they don't answer this one, this is gonna, oh, I'm already mad. I, you know what, I'll be honest, I don't know the name of every country, but I know some of the most basic ones. Out, off the top of my head. We got China, we got Russia, uh, Ukraine, we have Mexico, Canada, Spain, India, North Korea, South Korea. Well, I mean, it's, it's Korea, but, you know, they're not really on the same page right now, so. Uh, we got Germany, uh, what else do we have? Uh, the Philippines, uh, did I say Mexico? I think it's in Mexico already. Uh, we, we have uh, Africa. There's so many! You couldn't name three? Mm. How many dimes make a dollar? That's ten. Ten dimes. You know what? That is something I actually already knew about. I actually found out through some family members that this generation does have a tough time counting coins. I don't know why. That's... Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> make up one dollar. A dime is the ten cent or the five cent. You tell me. It's the ten. I don't know. Five's a nickel. Um, damn. Any three, you know this. Canada? New Mexico? Right? That's it? <laughs> yeah. Damn, I need one more. Uh, New Mexico, oh my gosh. New Mexico and what? Damn. Do you know how many states there are in total in the US? 50. Just to make this very clear, I haven't seen this video yet. I have not seen this video yet at all. I just, I came across one. I came across two videos actually, okay? There was two of them. I picked this one. I have not seen it yet at all. So I'm just letting you know already off the top of my head, I can answer these. How many continents are there? Three. Continents? Continents. Continent. There's seven. No, six. No, seven. Seven, right? North America, South America, Australia, Antarctica, Africa, Asia. 
Oh my god, uh, 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 what's the last one? Uh, I ever said Asia. Uh, it, oh my goodness, did I forget the one? <gasps> Europe! There you go, Europe, there you go. I got it, I got it. <laughs> I'm smart. Did you say three? Yes. Do you know what two countries border the US? Canada, Mexico. Border? Yeah, like on the borders. Canada, Mexico. It's the only border that I know is Puerto Rico and Mexico. Yes, who fought in the Civil War? Mm, Bruh. You talking about president-wise? President no, the people. Who against who? I don't know that one. I know it had to do like what with France or France and I don't know the other one. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> who fought in the Civil War? I don't know uh, the French. <laughs> It was the North and the South over slavery. <laughs> oh my stomach hurts. It's almost like she was talking about the French Revolution. <laughs> this is sad. Okay, now I'm gonna start getting mean. Really? They can't all think like this, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Who fought in the Civil War? The French. This is a perfect example. You know what? I'm gonna wait. That might be a little too soon if I say that. There might still be some hope. If you could, they could just answer a few basic questions, I'll be happy. Just some very basic questions. Oh my goodness. Here, you're close. Um, France and the British are the same thing, right? Yeah. So... You know, it's interesting. I've never uh, met someone from France who had a British accent, but uh, you know, that uh, I I'm so sorry, I'm, not, I'm gonna try to not pause the video too much because I'm just trying to answer the questions myself. Do you know what continents we're on right now? North America, North America. Do you know who fought in the Civil War? Um, who fought in the Civil War? Fuck. Come on, man. Like from the president? No, like who against who? It was the Nazis. Versus Germany. No. Yes. No. I'm gonna say yes, but correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. <laughs> you actually just guessed that? Nah, yeah. I'm kind of smart. You didn't know that? Oh. And she's happy about it. Oh my gosh. I just guessed it now, but. Yeah, so it's like, probably, I forgot, but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was in the back of your head and like it came up. How many uh, Kardashian sisters can you name? Kendall Jenner, Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian, um. Khloe Kardashian, um, Courtney mm -mm. Kardashian. Is that all? That's all. Yeah, that's all of them for sure. <laughs> you know, dude, you're a genius. How many seasons are there? <laughs> May, June, July, August, September. Seasons. Seasons. You know, I'm not gonna lie for a second. I thought he was talking about the Kardashians. <laughs> There's four, right? Yeah, uh, winter, spring, summer, and fall, right? Probably not in that order, but, uh, the Nazis. <laughs> Can you name three countries besides the U.S.? Oh, come on, man. Um, three countries? Yeah. Canada, Mexico, and, um, um, Asia. No, Asia. Yeah, Asia. Uh, yes. What state is Utah? Kinda, sorta. I'm terrible! Best friend. Uh, I don't know. I don't know history. Like, that history, real history stuff, I don't like. I'm you, mad. You know it's three, three, three times three times three. 27. 27. Yeah, you know this. It's 27. It's 27. Stop. 27. Nah, because that's supposed to be a trick. That's supposed to be a trick thing. But, like, I gotta do my head. Sorry. Oh, my God. Damn. Damn. Oh, 36. What's three times three times three? It's three times three times three. Uh, 27. Come on, my guy. Um, 36. Yes. What's three times three times three? Three times three times three? Uh, nine, nine times three. I don't know, I don't know I'm You had it! Yeah, that's a number. Like, 36? Oh my god, that's 9 times 4! This generation is so- Oh my god, this country is doomed. <laughs> Think about it, add the first two numbers. 3, 6, 9, and then 3 times 9, 9, 18, 27. <laughs>
fact that they can't even answer third grade math is that is so sad man this was worse than i thought they can't even answer three times three times three they can't even answer the which country of the borders are in the u.s they can't even answer how many stars are on the american flag because they're so busy with colors this is oh my god dude yeah like celebrate this and that that's cool there's nothing wrong with that but you you gotta be educated on some things otherwise people can't take you seriously come on now what's three times three times three Come on, come on. Slow. Yes. Do you know what context we're on right now? <sighs> no. <laughs> I don't know none of that. Do you know who the current vice president is? Vice oh, God. No, I don't know his name. But I, don't know. <laughs> I heard it. You remember his name? <laughs> I think he's talking the about capital Biden. Of Chicago. Mm. The capital? The capital of Chicago. Dame un segundo, I gotta think. This is a tough one. Mm. I don't. I don't think there is a capital. Is it Los Angeles? I feel like that's so wrong. Wow. That's not even a capital. My dumbass. What language do the people in Idaho speak? What? Like the language, the people who live in Idaho, what do they speak? You know? Hell no. I don't know. What? Japan? Do you know how many presidents we've had so far? <laughs> I'm not exaggerating, by the way, Verse. This is this is an eye opener. You can't even answer these basic questions. Like, no, look, I know that's uh, like when it comes to a question about another country or something. I know people aren't, aren't entirely into that, even though it, it wouldn't hurt to you know learn it. Fine, I guess. But if you can't even answer some of the most basic questions here in our own country, Verse, what the hell? Come on now, man. It's not like they're asking you biology, algebra, two questions. You know what I'm saying? If it was anywhere at that aspect, I'd be like, no, I get it. I have no problem admitting the best. My math level was able to get get to was algebra one. <laughs> I I don't have a problem admitting that. But these are so basic. Like you can't even answer basic questions. How many presidents uh, have we had so far in the U.S.? Uh, like fifty? No, 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 no. We're not in fifty yet. We're close. We're not in fifty. My bad. Uh, like forty-four, forty-six. No, forty-five, forty-six. Yeah, it's forty-six because the Biden's in now. How many presidents do we have so far in the U.S.? 46! Yes! I was right! Okay. I, I almost said 50. Oh my goodness. Oh no. No, like... Around how many? 11? Yes, around there. How long is a quarter of an hour? 25 minutes. Oh! You know that what two countries border the U.S.? You said what two countries what? Border? Mexico? I don't fucking know. Mexico and, um... I don't know. I forgot. Yes. <laughs> How many dimes make up one dollar? How many dimes? Yeah. Oh my god, we're doing math now? It's ten. Why are you doing all the questions I can't answer? Ten dimes! Okay, yes, you know this. Dimes, dimes, dimes. Wait, I'm trying to remember what dimes are. Ten dimes! Um, wait, a dollar? Yeah. Next question! <laughs> How many minutes are in half an hour? Sixty. Yes. Wait, half an hour? Yeah, 60, right? No, half an hour? No. No, 45, 30. No. Oh. 30, Which one? 45. Which number? 45. 35. <laughs> yes. Just yeah, close. Stop. How many dimes make up $1? A thousand or a hundred? A hundred. Yes. What year was the U.S. founded? What year? You know what? Yeah. I'll give her this. If it was a hundred pennies, sure. Sure, a hundred pennies could make a dollar, but that we're talking about dimes. <laughs> what year was the U.S. founded on? Oh, I know this one. Uh, uh, uh July fourth, seventeen seventy-six. Yeah, cause I, in college I did U.S. history, so seventy-six. Oh, you lost me with that one. <laughs> Wait, around what year? You know this. Seventy-six. Around what year? Seventeen seventy-six. Founded. Mm. I feel like I should know this one. I feel like you do know this one. I mean, you live in it, yeah, so it it. wouldn't hurt. Uh, nah, you got it with that one. I don't know. Guess like around what year? If you had to guess. Nah, cause I'm gonna look. <laughs> guess a year, you know. A year. Around what? Found it. I'm gonna be like um. 1995. No. 94, 95. 95. It was 94. Yo, what the? Fuck? Yes. Do you know how long a quarter of an hour is? A quarter of an hour is 24, 25 minutes. 
She said 1995. I didn't realize the U.S. was uh, founded, you know, like right before my year. <laughs> oh man, it just gets worse and worse the longer this video is. We still got like three minutes. Oh yes. man. How many seasons are there? Four. Five. Wait, spring, right? That's season. Spring, summer, winter, fall, fall. Oh yeah, there you go. Finally. You're 60 miles an hour, and you've been driving for one hour. Then how far do you travel? 60. 60. I don't know, like uh, 60 miles. I don't know. What's a guess? Uh, she just had it. 60. 30. Sixty miles an hour. And you've been driving for an hour. Then what's the distance you go? How far do you travel? Sixty miles an hour. Sixty. I don't drive. It's the speed that you. Oh my God! It's my little cousin. I don't know. I wish I knew, but I don't know. Take a guess. Like imagine you're in a car, and you're driving sixty miles an hour. And then you've been driving for an hour. Then. Yeah, it is pretty fast. So how far do you think you'd what? get at that time? That's average! That's your average speed! So, maybe like... 20 minutes? Yes! Do you know how many stars there are in the US flag? Oh boy. Dang, okay. Uh... We're not how many. 15? 16? 15? I don't know. 15 or 16? Yeah, 15. Yes. How long is a quarter of an hour? Okay. U.S. flag. Look at all these stars. Look at all these stars. When you look at those stars, do they look like there's 15? You following me so far? Do you see 16? It's 50. <laughs> I'm getting mad. Like I, I shouldn't be. It's funny how like there's so many people talking so much. Like I like I'm gonna be honest about this. People are always talking about how the U.S. is ass and that Canada is a lot better. Yet they don't even know that Canada is on the border of the U.S. <laughs> when do they celebrate the Fourth of July in England? I don't know. I don't know. But it's the Fourth of July. Yeah, it's July too. Yes. Yes. Two days before us. Do you know who fought in the Civil War? You know who fought in the Civil War? Yeah. People? Yeah. <laughs> you got me there. If you were born 10 Hey, uh, what kind of car do you drive? A car? <laughs> okay. okay. How old would you be today? Mm, 10 years ago. I don't know, I'll be like 14, 12. If you were born 12. 10 years ago, you'd be 10. 10! If I was, what was it again? If you were born 10 years ago today? If I was born 10 years ago today, how old would I be? 10! I'm 20. Mm -hmm. You're 20? <laughs> 10, right? I said 12, close. Yes. It's over. Thank God, it's over. <laughs> Is it really that bad? Like, is it really that bad, Bruce? Okay, uh, if anyone hasn't noticed any of this, right? Because I know I didn't notice it, right? Until I came across some of the videos. And then now after watching this, get educated, please. I understand that, you know, we live in a time now where we have, you know, technology. People definitely got lazier, that's for sure. Uh, you know, I ain't here to judge anybody. You're doing anything like that, that's not my place. But, you know, I, I gotta call it as I see it. This is getting pretty humility, you know? Um, I I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty embarrassing. Like, it's like they didn't even try, especially that one question uh, who fought in the civil war i don't know people well first uh you know i'm not trying to ruin the mood or nothing i just, I just got it. what do you guys think i, I don't even know how to add to that. that that's that's where we're at ladies and gentlemen that is literally where we're at it, one thing that i have noticed about the way how things are nowadays right is the fact that people complain and really like to throw stuff in people's faces right but then yet they don't seem to know their basic information how the hell can you talk this much or represent that much if you don't know what you're even talking about, bro. It just goes to show that people's priorities are in the wrong place. And, and, and you know, this is real talk right now, you know? Like, it just goes to show, it doesn't matter what you're representing, doesn't matter what you're talking about. If you don't have a certain mindset, how can people take you seriously? I just, I can't believe it. Again, I ain't like a brainiac or nothing, right? Like, I hated high school, but I love college, right? Just because of the fact that, when, uh, because of what I'm majoring in. And don't get me wrong, like, there's, I, there's plenty of questions that were pretty simple that I couldn't even answer growing up, you know? I actually have a friend who didn't go to college. Uh, he was a high school friend of mine. He loves history. 
Like he really loves history. Like we were we went to the movies together one time, and we went to go see the movie Lincoln, and then we just started talking about uh, about, about the movie and like history during that time because he's a history nut. I remember like way after we graduated, we were catching up with each other, and then he was telling me more stuff about history, and I, and I looked at him and I was like, damn man, you you still talking about history? I was like, are you in college? Are you gonna be a historian or something? Cause you should. And he told me it was like, nah. I don't want to do college. I told him, I said, why not? And then he tells me, it's just, I don't really feel like I need college. I pretty much do well by myself, you know? Like, I consider myself street smart. And I'm like, yeah, clearly. Because a lot of things he learned, he learned on his own. I know there's a hell of people that are smarter than me that learn things on their own and they're not even in school. But the fact that people don't even try, honestly, it's technology. That's just my opinion, you know? Technology really got people super mad, super divided, incredibly lazy. There's benefits to it, but man, there are a lot of downsides to it. And this shows. But anyways, verse, that's just that's just me reacting on the moment. That's just what's going on. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification for more content as always. Look forward to the next video, verse. And with that said, have an awesome day. And uh, yeah, let's see what I'll be reacting to next, huh? Later, verse.